Are you looking to secure business funding in different states? For example, if you wanted to get a BMO Harris, an unsecured business platinum credit card with 0% interest, of course, for 18 months, you will get denied if you're not conducting business in the same state that BMO Harris operates. Are you tracking? Good. So in this video, I'm going to give you the steps where you can qualify for business funding anywhere, no matter where you're located. Because remember, credit is all about perception. Do you look good on paper? Are you tracking? All right, so let's get right into the video. Now, what I want to talk about today is something that's called a foreign entity. And when you file a foreign entity, it gives you permission to conduct business in other places and other locations. So, for example, I'm out here located in Illinois. If I want to do business in the state of New York, then I will have to file a foreign entity to conduct business in the state of New York. Now, in the business funding perspective, this means if I'm located in the state of Illinois and I want to go to a bank, to a financial institution that's located in New York, I will have to file a foreign entity. So let's break that down. And the reason why, before I get to that, the reason why this is so important, because you can be limited to your geographic location, to your state, because some banks are not in every state. For example, let's take Chase Bank. Chase Bank is a national bank. It's located everywhere. If you have the proper data points, which we're going to talk about coming up, if you have the proper data points, you can get access to Chase products. Same thing with American Express and Citibank. Now, on the other hand, let's take a PNC Bank, a Truist Bank, a Key Bank, a BMO Harris Bank. These are our regional banks where if you're not located, if you don't conduct business in the same state that PNC Bank, BMO Harris, Key Bank, Truist Banks operate, you can get funding from them. So now you are limited to just your state. And this can hinder you from either starting or growing a scale your business because you won't have access to credit so you can leverage, right? So that's the main thing why we want to make sure that we have the opportunity to get the funding products that we need or to be a successful business owner. So that's what a foreign filing a foreign entity can do for you. Don't worry, I'm going to explain how you can do it or the best way to do it. But first, before I do that, I want to get to the data points, because if you don't have the data points, there's no need to go to other states and qualify for their unsecured business credit card with zero percent interest or their business line of credit or whatever financial products that they have. Right. Um, let's talk about the data points. Now, before you go to another state to get an unsecured business credit card, we want to make sure that we properly structure our business on one hand. And on the next hand, we want to make sure that the business owner credit is in position. Let's break that down. Properly structured. We want to make sure I talk about this all the time. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you haven't to the YouTube channel. I appreciate it. It's a win-win situation. Thank you. Now, properly structured. First, you got to make sure you have the right business name. Management, consulting, right? Uh, uh, enterprise, etc. Very generic, very general. I talk about this all the time. I even talk about this more in my Patreon community called Apex Business Credit Community, where it's a form of mentorship. I have over 75 videos in there. So you definitely want to make sure that you become a part of our community. So all you got to do is hit the link in the description, sign up, and now you see me going live there. You have access to me. You can communicate with me uh, in there too as well. Also, you would get videos on how to liquidate credit cards, etc. Right. They all in there. So let's move on. Now, we want to make sure we properly structure our business. This means having the right business name. Most of you get turned down because your business name is wrong. Right. You don't have a professional email. You don't have a professional phone number. Your, your business is not located in the public records. These are the things that you must have to order for these financial institutions. Look at you as a professional business owner. 
So once you set it up once, you won't have to do it again. So we want to make sure that we properly structure our business. Of course, you want to have a EIN, you want to have LLC, you want to have all that in play. That's properly structure your business. Now, the second and the most important thing, we want to make sure that our personal credit profile is in position. Oh, London, I want to keep my business and I want to keep my my uh, personal credit. I want to keep everything separate. Well, that's exactly what you're doing. Because those unsecured business credit cards, those business lines of credit, they don't report on your personal credit profile. They only report on your business credit profile, those accounts. So this means that you are protecting your debt to income ratio. You're protecting your debt to credit ratio. You are keeping everything separate. But in order for you to get access to business funding products, you have to leverage your personal credit. Most of you guys' business cannot stand alone. I get that all the time. You have a brand new business. It can't stand alone by itself. The banks need something to attach it to in order for you to, for them to feel like a like you are a low risk business owner. It's all about the risk factor to them. So if your business can't stand alone, this means if you don't have the proper business tra trade lines, not just a U line, Quill, and Granger. I'm not referring to those, so don't give me that. I'm referring to age trade lines, two years or more. I'm referring to financial trade lines such as unsecured business credit cards, secure business credit cards, business auto loans, invoice financing, right? These are equipment loans. These are all forms of financial trade lines. Most of you guys only have vendor supplier trade lines on your business credit profile and you wonder why you're getting turned down or you can't get the bank's money. Now, after you have that, your business is properly structured, you want to attach the business owner credit, a.k.a. your personal credit, to your profile. Yes, you have to leverage your personal credit. This means your payment history has to be good. Are you paying your bills on time over the period of time? Not just your credit score. So having an 800 credit score does not guarantee you business funding. Why? Because did you know you can have six trade lines? Let's say you have... Six trade lines reported on your credit profile. Now, there's different types of trade lines. You have authorized user trade lines. You have primary trade lines, right? You have installment trade lines. You have revolving trade lines. Those are all different types of trade lines. So you want to have a mixture of both. But let's say you have six trade lines on your personal credit profile. Four of those are authorized users. One is one credit card with a $300, with $300 limit from Capital One. And the other one is a brand new car loan that you just got for two months. That credit profile, those trade lines will not suffice. It's insufficient. It's inadequate. You have to have the proper data points on your personal credit profile, not just the credit score. Because you can have a 680 credit score and now you have eight different trade lines Two of those are installment loans, a mortgage and a car loan. Four of those are, let's say, credit cards, right? Then you have a line of credit, etc. So let's say you have a credit card with 5,000 limit, 10,000 limit. You have longevity, two years, revolving credit, which lenders love. Your credit utilization is on a 10%. Not, over, not only overall credit utilization is lower than 10%, but individual credit utilization is, is lower than, let's say, 30%, 10% as well. So you have good payment history, you have good credit history, your credit inquiries is very low. So now you're telling lenders that you're not being frivolous or AKA you're not being thirsty for credit, right? Too many inquiries tell lenders you are thirsty for credit. No matter what your credit score is, if you have too many inquiries, you will get turned down for business funding. So I just wanna make sure that we understand that. So before you file a foreign entity, we wanna make sure that that data is in position. Now, let's get to if you want to learn more about that, again, there's different sources for that. Now, let's get into a filing a foreign entity. The best place for you to file your foreign entity is to go to a, a business formation platform. Again, this is not financial advice. This is for educational purposes. But in my experience, the best place is to go to a formation platform such as InkFile, Authority Inc., Right. These are formation platforms where they do all the work for you. 
because there's certain things you have to have in play that needs to be in position in order for you to for, to, to qualify to, to have permission to do business in other states or to get access to other financial products is what we care about in this case. So, for example, you have to have a registered agent when you file a foreign entity in that particular state, right? So I have my registered agent in Illinois, but now I need to have a registered agent in New York. Same thing, I have my virtual office in Illinois, but now I need my virtual office in New York, right? So I need a certificate of good standing, right? I need all these documentations. Of course, you need your operating agreement, your EIN, your articles of organization, you need all those things to qualify, right? And the most important thing, you have to have a uh, certificate of authority. Now, if this sounds too complicated, if you do it on your own, it definitely is. But if you go to like Infile, where they do everything for you. And of course, I show you how to do this uh, in my community, step by step that I'm putting together to show you exactly how to do it, how to go to an ink file and how to file a foreign entity right on there. And they do everything for you. Now, of course, there's state fees to associated to it, depending on what state you live in. You have to file a foreign fee just like you do for your regular LLC. You have to do state fees for that particular state. So it's almost similar to filing an LLC domestically in your state. Now you have to just do it in another state. Register agent. Uh, um, virtual office, certificate of good standing, stuff like that, certificate of authority. You need those documents in order to conduct business. But now that I have it, now I can go to Truist Bank. You want to go inside the bank. So now I can go to Truist Bank, go inside. You don't want to do it online because you have all your paperwork. Go inside Truist Bank and get approved for that unsecured business credit card with 0% interest for 18 months. I can go to Huntington Bank, BMO Harris, all these regional banks that get, frankly, almost the best products. And they're low key. Citizen Bank, Key Bank. So now you can expand, you can diversify your portfolio when it comes to business funding because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. Let me explain by that. You don't want to have everything with American Express. You don't want to have everything with Chase. You can have two with Chase, two American or four with uh, American Express, two with Chase, two with PNC Bank, three, uh, two with Huntington, uh, Huntington Bank, one with BMO Harris, two with Bank of America, right? So now you can diversify your portfolio. You're not putting all your eggs in one basket because we all know these banks can easily switch up on you. That's the power of filing a foreign entity. So now you can get business funding in different states. So you qualify for business funding everywhere. It doesn't matter where you're physically located. At. It's all about paper. Remember, perception. Credit is all about perception. Do you look good on paper? So once our paperwork is right, we go to Ink File, we file a foreign entity. Now we can conduct business and we can get access to their financial products. Let me know in the comments, have you ever filed a foreign entity or if you have any questions, but you also can subscribe to my Patreon and we will help you file a foreign entity from there. All right, guys. See you on the next one.